A very enthusiastic welcome to one and all. Multisoft brings the essentials of developing Windows Store apps using CHASH training at your doorstep. Today's session is focused on the Windows Store apps, its features and professional scope, as well as what's required to become a Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer. This course will qualify you to become a software developer, web developer or quality engineer. Let's start with the agenda. I will begin with an introduction to Windows Store apps including a brief about MCSD. Next I will provide you with a few details about Microsoft and then move on to its certification and exam details. We will then discuss the course which will include the professional scope, target audience and course outline. The next section will be sneak preview where I will briefly explain you one of the course topics. This will give you a fair understanding about how online training will happen at Multisoft. Next, we will cover the details about Multisoft Online Training on essentials of developing Windows Store apps using CHASH. At last, I'll summarize the session for you. So, are you excited to learn about the applications which you use for the maximum time of your day? If yes, then let us begin with an introduction to Windows Store apps. A Windows Store app is a Windows runtime application that runs on Windows devices like PCs, tablets or laptops and can be sold in the Windows Store. Windows applications run on the WinRT and can be developed in any .NET supported language. Windows apps can be run both on desktops and smartphones. Developing applications for Windows is one of the great career options and individuals can move ahead in this area by becoming a Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer in Windows Store apps. This is a globally recognized credential for developers. An MCSD in Windows Store apps demonstrates expertise in designing and developing fast and fluid Windows 8 applications. There are two parts to achieve this certification. One is by using HTML5 and second by CHASH. Let me now briefly tell you about the other three MCSD categories. The first one is MCSD Web Applications that builds your expertise in creating and deploying modern web applications and services. Earning an MCSD Web Application Certification will qualify you for the position of a web developer or web administrator. MCSD SharePoint Applications demonstrates your expertise at designing and developing collaboration applications with Microsoft SharePoint. Earning this certification would qualify you for jobs such as software developer or web developer. The third one is MCSD Application Lifecycle Management that builds your expertise in managing the entire lifespan of application development. Earning this credential will qualify you for positions like developer, applications engineer and IT project manager. Of the four I discussed with you all, our training is based on MCSD Windows Store apps. I'm sure you must have heard the name Microsoft. Let me give you a quick idea about Microsoft that is one of the world's most valuable technology companies. Microsoft Corporation is an American multinational technology company headquartered in Washington. It develops, manufactures, licenses, supports and sells computer software, consumer electronics and personal computers and services. Its best known software products are the Microsoft Windows line of operating systems, Microsoft Office suite of products and the Internet Explorer web browser. Its flagship hardware products are the Xbox game consoles and the Microsoft Surface tablet lineup. It is the world's largest software maker when measured by revenues. Microsoft certifications are the most in demand and valuable certifications. It thus becomes mandatory on my part to share few more details about the certification related to this training program to make you shine amongst the crowd by being Microsoft Certified. Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer Certifications are achieved by passing a set of related certification exams which include Programming in CHASH, Essentials of Developing Windows Store Apps Using CHASH and Advanced Windows Store App Development Using CHASH. After completing this training, candidates are eligible to appear for the essentials of developing Windows Store apps using CHASH exam, that is 7484. Now that we know about the certification, let me share the exam details with you. 
To protect exam security and the value of their certifications, Microsoft does not identify exam formats or question types before the exam. Microsoft certification exams are carefully developed with input from industry professionals to reflect how Microsoft products are used in organizations throughout the world. It recommends that you have hands-on experience with the product along with the use of specified training resources. Let us now jump to the course specific details of essentials of developing Windows Store apps using CHASH training. To understand the course details, it is important that you are aware of the scope of MCSD. According to the job profiling website payscale.com, those with MCSD certification held jobs as software engineers, software developers or IT project managers in a variety of different organizations. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that most software engineers are employed in the computer systems field, although they are found in a wide range of industries including manufacturing, finance and insurance. The BLS also reports that most software engineers have at least a bachelor's degree in a computer-related field. The BLS reported in May 2013 that system software developers earn a median salary of approximately $100,000. This figure isn't specific to those with the MCSD certification, however. According to a Payscale.com report from November 2013, salaries for software developers with MCSD certification range from $56,000 to $100,000. According to the BLS, the employment of software developers overall is projected to increase by 22% from 2012 to 2022. This is a rate much faster than the average of all occupations. The demand is expected to be high for those who can create and develop web applications. Job prospects for those with MCSD certification should be excellent, especially if they have at least a bachelor's degree. The rapid growth of new technology will create job opportunities for certified solutions developers in new areas as well, including mobile devices and social networking. In terms of target audience, this course is ideal for individuals with one or more years of experience in creating client applications, one to three months of experience in creating Windows client applications, one to three months of experience in using Visual Studio 2010 or 2012, and those who have a basic knowledge of programming in CHASH and XML. Earning an MCSD Windows Store App certification will qualify you for jobs such as software developer, web developer and quality engineer. This slide shows the complete course outline for essentials of developing Windows Store apps using CHASH training. We will cover all these modules in detail once you register with us for the training. Finally, we have reached to the most valuable section, that's the sneak preview. This section will enhance your knowledge in terms of technical concepts related to the training. So let us begin our ride of knowledge. Let's keep the topic of a sneak preview very easy and interesting. Yes, let us make an attempt to understand about Windows 8 OS. Windows 8 is a personal computer operating system developed by Microsoft as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. Development of Windows 8 started before the release of its predecessor, Windows 7, in 2009. It was announced at CES 2011 and followed by the release of three pre-release versions from September 2011 to May 2012. The operating system was released to manufacturing on August 1, 2012 and was released for general availability on October 26, 2012. Windows 8 introduced major changes to the operating system's platform and user interface to improve its user experience on tablets, where Windows was now competing with mobile operating systems including Android and iOS. In particular, these changes included a touch-optimized Windows shell based on Microsoft's Metro design language, the start screen displaying programs and dynamically updating content on a grid of tiles a new platform for developing apps with an emphasis on touchscreen input, integration with online services along with the ability to sync apps and settings between devices, and Windows Store, an online store for downloading and purchasing new software. Windows 8 added support for USB 3.0, 
advanced format hard drives, near field communications, and cloud computing. Also, additional security features were introduced, such as built in antivirus software, integration with Microsoft Smart Screen, phishing filtering service, and support for UEFI Secure Boot on supported devices with UEFI firmware to prevent malware from infecting the boot process. New features and functionality in Windows 8 include a faster startup through UEFI integration and the new hybrid boot mode, a new lock screen with a clock and notifications, and the ability for enterprise users to create live USB versions of Windows. Windows 8 also adds native support for USB 3.0 devices, which allow for faster data transfers and improved power management with compatible devices and hard disk 4KB advanced format support as well as support for near field communication to facilitate sharing and communication between devices. Windows Explorer which has been renamed File Explorer now includes a ribbon in place of the command bar. File operation dialog boxes have been updated to provide more detailed statistics, the ability to pause file transfers and improvements in the ability to manage conflicts when copying files. Apart from all these features, I will now share some more features. The first feature is related to safety and security in which Windows 8 includes two new authentication methods tailored towards touchscreens, better spins and picture passwords, the addition of antivirus capabilities to Windows Defender, smart screen filtering integrated into Windows, family safety offers parental controls which allows parents to monitor and manage their children's activities on a device with activity reports and safety controls. Windows 8 also provides integrated system recovery through the new refresh and reset functions including system recovery from USB drive. Now moving on to the feature of online services and functionality wherein Windows 8 provides heavier integration with online services from Microsoft and others. A user can now log into Windows with a Microsoft account which can be used to access services and synchronize applications and settings between devices. Windows 8 also ships with a client application for Microsoft SkyDrive cloud storage service which also allows applications to save files directly to SkyDrive. Thirdly, Windows 8 introduces a new style of application, Windows Store Apps. According to Microsoft developer Jensen Harris, these applications are to be optimized for touchscreen environments and will be more specialized than current desktop applications. Applications can run either in a full screen mode or be snapped to the side of a screen. Applications can provide toast notifications on screen or animate their tiles on the start screen with dynamic content. They can use contracts, a collection of hooks to provide common functionality that can integrate with other applications including search and sharing. Further, Windows 8 introduces significant changes to the operating system's user interface, many of which are aimed at improving its experience on tablet computers and other touchscreen devices. The new user interface is based on Microsoft's Metro design language and uses a start screen similar to that of Windows Phone as the primary means of launching applications. The start screen displays a customizable array of tiles linking to various applications and desktop programs, some of which can display constantly updated information and content through live tiles. As a form of multitasking, applications can be snapped to the side of a screen. Last but not the least is the feature of web browsers in which the exceptions to the restrictions faced by Windows Store applications are given to web browsers. The user's default browser can distribute a Metro-style web browser in the same package as the desktop version, which has access to functionality unavailable to other applications such as being able to permanently run in the background, use multiple background processes, and use Windows API code instead of WinRT allowing for code to be reused with the desktop version while still taking advantage of features available to Windows Store apps such as Charms. Let us now get into some details of Windows Store app. The launch of Windows 8 was accompanied with the introduction of Windows Runtime, a new framework for building touch-friendly user interfaces for Windows Store applications. 
with WinRT, Windows Presentation Foundation and Silverlight developers could leverage their existing XML and C-hash VB.NET skills to build Windows Store apps. In addition to the new framework and an accompanying toolset, Microsoft introduced a new design language called Microsoft Design Style. The conceptual design of an application is the first stage of designing an application. In the conceptual design, you focus on a set of ideas and concepts about what your app should do, how will it behave when users interact with it, and what it should look like. A well-designed application has logical layers loosely coupled with a UI, which is used for presenting the data. Separating logic from presentation enables the application to be enhanced or updated without changing the conceptual design. You can use design patterns such as model view, view model to develop maintainable and extensible applications. Data and state preservation across various states of an application is important in providing a great user experience. After you build and test your application, you need to prepare the app for Windows Store certification. Microsoft provides a set of requirements to help you during the app certification process and deployment in the Windows Store. So, did you have fun learning about Windows 8 in the Snake Preview section? Okay, let us have an overview as to how Multisoft Essentials of developing Windows Store apps using C-Hash online training will happen at Multisoft. When you register with us for the training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 30 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on our website. The training happens through a secure web conferencing tool that allows a real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you wherein you log into a collaborative platform that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It's as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt 5 assessments. Apart from these valuable exam-oriented resources, you also get access to all related course presentations. Also, you will be guided in terms of tips related to exam preparation. This is a sample of the online assessment that will test your knowledge on the various course concepts. All the questions will have few options, out of which you need to select the correct one. At the end of the assessment, you will be guided about the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. Now let's summarize the session. This will be a 30 hours instructor-led online training that will be conducted by an experienced instructor. In addition, you will get 24 by 7 access to the learning management system, where you can attempt 5 assessments. Also, important exam preparation tips will be provided by the trainer. After the training, you will also receive a certificate from Multisoft. This session was an attempt to provide you detailed information about the essentials of developing Windows Store apps using C-Hash training. In order to register for the course or to ask any question, please write to us at info at